I'm Anna Grace Taylor and welcome to your year reading for 2019. Happy New Year! So instead of the weekly angel reading, I'm going to be pulling one card for each month of the coming year from the Angel Tarot Cards by Radley Valentine. So first of all, let's go for January and see what the guidance is and we'll be sharing a message through the entire year, okay? So January's card is an interesting one, King of Water, trustworthy, compassionate, respected, cultured. So that could be you or someone else in your life. It says open your heart and mind to those around you, trustworthy and heartfelt advice or charity work. So this says to me that we're going to be starting off the year seeking some support, especially emotionally, from somebody that we really trust and admire. It could be a mentor or a teacher. It could be somebody that we ad admire generally for what they do and how they are in the world. It says to me that it's important that rather than rushing ahead, for the beginning of the year, that we actually just take our time and listen to what feels right to us and also listening to the advice that we're given, how we can proceed with that as we go forward. It could also mean, as the card says, that we want to give back in January. So if there's an important cause for you or something that means a lot to you, then this month is a great month to get involved, okay? So that is January, February, coming into February. Oh, interesting, two of air. It says being unable or unwilling to make a decision, a stalemate or pretending there is no problem. So it looks like February, having had all of this advice in January, that we're still gonna be tripping up on ourselves. So this is not something that we have to be afraid of or like, oh man, I'm gonna definitely have a tricky month. This is actually a heads up to say, be aware of that part of you that is still keeping yourself stuck in the same place rather than actually moving forward and taking that advice or keeping yourself in the same position that you were perhaps in 2018 or the beginning of this year, okay? So really get honest with yourself in February. What's working? What's not working? How can I move forward? What am I unwilling to see? And then progress going, okay, I might be afraid, but actually I'm going to go for it anyway. All right, so that's February. And then March, I'm looking at these completely blindly, by the way. I have no idea what's coming up. March is queen of fire. Confident, warm, intelligent, graceful. Stretch your wings and fly. Don't underestimate yourself. Assert your independence and creativity. So this is where the energy shifts. This is where the queen of fire is saying, go for it, believe in yourself, believe in your magic. So you're gonna feel like you're actually got your mojo more as you head into March. And that is a beautiful thing, especially for those of us who are kind of not such a winter fan but more um, energized and inspired in the spring so this is going to feel a great time to go for it to go for that thing that you've been tripping up on at the beginning of the year to really let your voice be heard they're saying there's a lot that needs to be said and those of us who are um, seen as leaders teachers healers really need to get out there and shine as we head into March okay so that's March for you, April. Oh, interesting. So this is really interesting where the ebbs and flows come in because this is actually saying it's a good time to rest and take a vacation. Allow more time before making a decision. Meditation may provide more answers. Now it's really interesting, isn't it? Because already we're four months into the year and it's saying that we really need to make sure that we're taking the right action before we proceed. And we've obviously got a lot of decisions to make headed as we go into the first quarter of uh, 2019. So rather than rushing ahead, apart from March being a, a really confident, beautiful month to go ahead, it looks like, again, April is making sure that we're really trusting our intuition and not making hasty or rushed or fearful decisions, rather connecting in April with our higher self, with our angels, asking God and the angels 
for guidance and then moving forward. So if you feel like you want to be quieter, more introspective in April, then absolutely do so. All right, so May. Oh, and then again, so it's like ebbs and flows because May is saying, yeah, then we can take a leap of faith, follow our dreams, unexpected opportunities. This actually is often the beginning of a journey. And as far as the tarot goes, is the first card. So May says, to, it says to me that May is going to feel like a new phase, a new beginning, that where the first quarter of the year is more contemplative and apart from March, a little bit more um, introverted, this is so Saying, yeah, we can really again, once again in May, trust our heart, trust what we want to do, and know that we're going to be supported. We may not always know what is going to be presented to us, but when we follow our dreams, there are going to be lots of doors that open for us. They're saying, yeah, walk through the doors that are open for you in May. Okay, so that's May. June. The, first, the middle of the year, ego, Archangel Joe Fael, a false sense of entrapment, being overly focused on material things, negative or fear-based thoughts. Again, June is saying, really listen to the part of you that's getting caught up in yourself. Are you listening to fear or are you listening to love? Archangel Joe Fael is a beautiful angel to call on to help you uplift your mind, uplift your heart, instead focusing on peace and joy rather than the things that you can't do. So it really feels important this year to focus on the voice of love rather than the voice of fear so that we don't get caught up in our heads so much. Joe Fael is really wanting us to know that in June we are going to be the ones that are tripping over ourselves. There's nothing in our way. It's actually ourselves that are often our own worst enemy and often we get so, um, you know, I want this, I want this, I want that to happen, I want this to happen. The angels are saying it's all available to us. It just depends on whether we we're actually going to take action on it or not. So June is a really good reminder not to get caught up in fear and just go for what it is that you want because May was all about following our dreams. And of course, when we start following our dreams, our fear starts to go, can I really do this? Is this okay? Am I allowed? Do I deserve it? It's just our fear getting in the way. So be honouring of your fear. Let it know that you know that it's keeping you safe or trying to keep you safe. But go ahead anyway. Follow your dreams anyway. All right, so that's June. So the second half of the year, we start July off. Oh, this is lovely. I love this card. So this is going to be a reflective time from not just from the first half of the year, but in something in our lives is going to, um, give us um, the opportunity ref to reflect back on our childhood, on the things that we wanted to do as a child. Perhaps there might be other people in our lives that pop up from when we were younger. It says memories from your history or childhood uh, issues regarding children, romanticizing the past. So again, it could be, I haven't looked at astro astrologically what's going on, but it could often be um, a Mercury retrograde period around then because as many of you know, it's a time to review and reflect often where things pop up from our past for healing. If you are a mother or um, you have issues with your own mother or father, this can be um, a card to really pay attention to your inner child or to the children in your life, which does make sense really, because often in July we're coming towards the end of a school year. So yeah, just really paying attention to anything that's popping up for you within your younger self or the younger people in your life, because that is a good time to really be kind to kind to our little selves, kind to the, the little ones in our lives because it's reflective of what's going to move us forward later on. Okay, so that's July. August, ooh, I love the look of August. Six of Earth, gifts of money, time or effort, new career opportunities, receiving a loan or paying off debts. So it's a really receptive time in August. 
feels very much like we really must go with the ebb and flow of 2019. There's some months that feel very quiet and reflective. And this again is one more of action, a time of receiving, really opening our arms and our hearts to the blessings we're being given, especially around our career or our material lives. So it's going to be looking good financially, they're saying in August. Yay! All right, so September... Oh, September. I love it. So our inner fire is coming out in September. It says, seven of fire, defend your beliefs and decisions, stand your ground, choose your battles wisely. So again, listening to the part of you that would like to be, you know, really argumentative and going, okay, so what is actually really important to me? Or what am I just making a fuss over? So there are going to be the opportunities for you to speak your truth and to say, yeah, this really matters for me. But also, again, not getting caught up in all of the details feels very important in September. So own your warrior, own the fire within you, but don't, you know, don't do it for the sake of it. Okay, that's a beautiful card for September. October, ooh, again, another beautiful earthy card, the power of creativity, recognition for very high quality work, be a team player. So those of us who have got a lot of creative projects uh, going on by October, this is going to feel really fulfilling and like you've, we've done a really good job. It's a time for us to come together with others. They're saying it's a, it's a good time for collaboration or what has been a collaboration to be be successful so October will be a really beautiful creative month or the rewards of our creativity they're saying so depending on where you're at in your journey what it is that you feel guided to do throughout the year October is really going to highlight how important it is to come together to make something a success or to feel um, more fulfilled they're saying in October so and they're showing me the butterfly as well so um, our creativity is going to be a big part of our transformation as we head into the last quarter of the year so if you've got some creative ideas or you've been kind of putting up them on the back burner waiting or wondering what is going to be a good time for you I would say the autumn although of course we're always creating so certainly wouldn't recommend that you procrastinate till then but it feels like to me some of the things and the ideas that um, they're showing us that are available to us in March April time when we talked about following our dreams and really going for it um, that's gonna be uh, you know reflective of how great we feel in October as well okay so that's October November, uh-oh, again, so this is saying again we might trip over ourselves, it's eight of air, it says an illusion of being trapped, a lack of self-confidence, afraid to take action, so it really feels like this is giving us a very big heads up this year, that there's so much available to us, so much good, so many blessings, so many opportunities, but the, the thing that's going to be in our way if we're not careful is us. So we're not trapped, we're not lacking, we're not incapable, but we might feel like it. So again, watch for that as we head into November, because there's a real feeling of it being a year where we can really choose to step into our power or we can feel um, restricted by either the voice in our head or the things that we feel like we haven't achieved. You know, get over that. Get over yourself, the angels are saying. Go for it. Do the things that light you up, especially around your creativity, as we spoke about in October. It really feels like... Um, you know, it's important to keep the momentum going through this year. There's going to be lots of peaks and troughs. But actually, most of the time, we're, the, we're going to be the only thing that's limiting us. So once again, have confidence in yourself, believe in yourself, because the rest of the world actually does. You're just thinking that they don't. Okay, so and ending the year. Oh, I love this card for the end of the year. Four of fire, contentment, peace and abundance, a happy home life, the successful completion of a project. So as we end the year, we are going to feel really fulfilled. We're going to feel like, yeah, actually, 
I overcame a lot. I did the things that I wanted to do and there is going to be a real sense of achievement as we end the year, especially emotionally, they're saying, which makes a lot of sense because um, it feels like we're going to have to really overcome a lot of personal hurdles in order to actually do what it is that we want to do. It can be a really happy year, they're saying, but we have to watch for the part of us that is either trying to uh, sabotage that or trying to uh, make things more complicated than they are because if we can really um, shine anyway, this yellow, again, they're, they're showing me the yellow sunshiny chakra of the solar plexus. If we can shine anyway, if we can say, I'm going to do it anyway, despite my fear, despite that lack of confidence, despite the fact that I don't necessarily know what I'm doing, we're really going to, um, you know, feel that we've achieved a lot as we head into the end of 2019. And this is very much... Um, a card of fulfillment, of happiness, of peace. Uh, they're saying that um, lots of us are going to end the year really feeling very um, emotionally supported. Uh, they're saying lots of us will end up with a different home life to how we began the year. It's going to feel either that, you know, um, there'll be couples that will um, come together that will either be moving in with each other. There'll be, um, you know, additions to the family. There'll be a real sense of togetherness as we head into the end of the year. So no matter what the bumps in the road are, I think that that's going to be a very important part um, of uh, what we want to bring in for ourselves. So if we're single, uh, wanting to bring in partners and whatever family means to us, if we're already in relationships, making sure that at the end of the day, our intention is always to, um, you know, love each other, love ourselves, to really build a sense of home and what that really means for us. And that can be different for all of us, of course, but most of us do want to be happy, healthy and at peace, don't we? So that is a really interesting reading for 2019. It definitely looks like it's going to have its ups and downs. But the one thing I love about these readings is that honestly, it's just saying, yeah, you might feel this way, you might feel a little afraid, you might feel a little lacking in confidence. But if you know about it, you can really notice where you're getting into that mode and just move forward accordingly. You don't have to be unafraid as a human being. You don't have to say, I'm never going to have fear. Because really, honestly, that's not going to happen. We have a mind, we have fears for a reason. Otherwise, we'd be in heaven, quite frankly. But it's just where we're going to allow that to rule or not. So again, have clarity, have lots of support, ask for advice, as it said in, in January. Um, but don't let yourself doubt yourself over and over again, because that feels like the only thing that we really need to overcome. It feels like the highlights are going to be around March, again in May, and then again as we, we go into, I think it was August, around, you know, receiving abundance. So again, there's lots of beautiful times as well, and you know, life is what we make it. Remember, this is just a general overview of the energy for the year, and for you to refer back to and just to take notice of if you're wanting to check in with yourself and to look at how you can proceed throughout your year, asking for lots of help, being creative, doing the things that you want to do, and making sure that you're open to receiving your blessings rather than keeping yourself closed. All right, sending you so much love for a beautiful 2019. Thank you so much for being here. If you would like your own personal in-depth reading after watching this video, and you just want to have your own space to ask your angels questions, if you would like some help to remove some of those um, 
um, confidence blocks. If you feel like you're really ready to um, go follow your dreams and want to feel supported and uplifted doing that, if you want to have a more of a personal heads up about your relationships or any part of your life, I would be happy to give you a personal reading. Just contact me on annagracetaylor.com and we can schedule a 30 minute or one hour session for you. Much love to you and I look forward to speaking to you next week with another weekly angel reading. Bye bye for now.